I thought it was about time to ask one of the big brands, and they don't come much bigger than Unilever, uh, to tell us a little bit about how they see the mobile marketing space developing. I have with me today Rahul Weld, who's the Vice President of Media for Africa, Asia, Middle East, Turkey and Russia, to help me out with this question. Rahul, welcome to Singapore and welcome to the MMA event. Tell me a little bit about Unilever. So yeah, we are a mass market, uh, fast moving consumer goods company with a presence across uh, you know, all the countries that you mentioned and many more actually with leading positions in most markets. Uh, most consumers would know us from our household brands, uh, typically brands like Dove, Sunsilk, Lipton, Walls Ice Cream and there are a host of others which are uh, pretty famous and you know, uh, have the patronage of a large number of consumers across this region. In a large number of countries in the continent and specifically in Asia, we have very, very strong positions in the market. Uh, and like I said, many of these brands are uh, household names really, yeah. So what are you doing at a mobile marketing event? <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's an interesting question. So we're very, you know, we are, uh, uh, our job in life is to really delight our consumers and delight our consumers and the process of delighting our consumers, communication plays a very important role. Uh, mobile, as you know, is a growing channel. It's uh, very, very important. We are very excited with the fact that this is now, has great potential for marketing. Uh, and to really relay our communication messages to engage with our consumers. And that's the reason why I'm here, because we think that this is really the next frontier in communication which we have to uh, get onto. Have you started marketing through mobile devices? Yes, we, we've, uh, we have a large number of projects in many countries which we've uh, done on mobiles. And if I were to call out a few uh, which have really been very successful for us and where we've seen uh, the asset test and the proof of the pudding, as they say, is uh, a great example in uh, the case of Axe which is a deodorant brand. It's targeted at young adults, uh, typically, you know, between teens and uh, early, early 20s. Uh, and the whole premise is uh, all these young men want to attract women, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's sort of almost a global or a regional truth. Uh, and we launched uh, this project called the Axe Wake Up Service in Japan, uh, based on the insight that large number of people now use their mobile phone as the alarm device. And how cool would it be if we were to actually uh, give this wake up alarm in the form of a nice, a great young woman uh, waking up the guy rather than a shrill, you know, ringtone coming out of the mobile phone. And then it kind of builds engagement and there were, you know, various uh, different layers of that communication. So that's a great example which I can think of. We are doing a lot of stuff on interactive gaming because a large number of audiences want to engage in the form of gaming on the mobile device. Uh, the mobile has actually got multiple uses, right? It's, it's gone much, much beyond uh, communication. Uh, it is uh, an entertainment device of sorts, it is a uh, utility device of sorts and we try to tap onto you know what can we really do uh, on the device, use that pipe uh, to engage our consumers and the, the example I quoted is just one of them but there are several others. For a very conservative brand like Unilever and a company like Unilever, moving to the mobile space must have been quite a dramatic move. Did it take a lot of convincing? So I think the numbers and the opportunity is right there in our face, right? There are more mobile phones, as they say, than PCs or in, in some countries, even more mobile phones than televisions. So the numbers are there. People are using it all the time. So I don't think the story of uh, it's about convincing Unilever. And I, I would say that, you know, it's not about Unilever being a conservative company or not a conservative company. We have to keep pace with our consumers. We have to be where the consumers are, right? In some cases, we discover it very fast and we crack the code very fast. In some cases, it takes a little longer. Now this is a new, new, entirely new device, a completely new tool which has come in front of us. And all of us, and I say not only about Unilever, but I think the industry at large, all of us are trying to figure out how do we activate this? How can I make use of this to make it more interesting for the consumer, right? And for a mass market company like us, uh, you know, to a large extent, our consumers have been housewives because the belly of the market is still among the housewives. And they have a very different spin on mobile than a 15 year old, uh, you know, living in a city in a large center. And so therefore, you know, we have to do what is right for the consumer, so understand what's uh, happening. And there is no doubt in my mind that this whole piece of technology uh, and uh, enabled through the mobile device is making a big, big difference. And therefore, it is making a difference to communication of uh, brands, you know, and how we give our messages to the consumers. Who do you work closely with to deliver the mobile message? And uh, are the telcos themselves involved in the process? Uh, so we are uh, working with the entire ecosystem, certainly a large number of uh, telcos and the operators uh, we partner with, we speak with, we try to understand what's happening. We believe, uh, certainly I do, that uh, a larger part of the understanding of this entire ecosystem lies with the experts and these are guys who are the operators, the telcos, the mobile companies 
uh, the mobile agencies. So we are working with a host of them and I, I could say I couldn't single out anyone because right now we are uh, really going out there learning, absorbing, digesting and then trying to activate it. So we are at the beginning of uh, this entire journey in the mobile space as far as uh, the brands are concerned. Exciting times. Yeah, they are indeed. Rahul, well thank you so much for spending time with me. Good, excellent. Thank you very much.